your boats together <laughs> in one car. <laughs> Can Good morning vlog. We are out here. We are up here we early. We got the whole <laughs> fam in the car. It's squished. But we are in line to vote early. Yes, democracy. So I'm out here at Spirit Halloween. This used to be my favorite store, Shopco. But she closed earlier in the year. I just, I just have to see her in this form that she got the spirit treatment. It's what she deserves, I'm so proud of her, I miss her. They are playing a Bastille song that's on like one of their like random collab albums and I am just very impressed, Spirit. I am very impressed. Hello friends, so I have a very exciting reading update. Like I'm so just, about the book that I'm reading right now. So I got a late e-arc from NetGalley for The Camelot Betrayal by Kirsten White, which is the second book in The Guinevere Deception. If you've been watching my channel for a hot minute, you know that last year I read The Guinevere Deception, plus like I just reread it in my last vlog. And I absolutely freaking love it. It's one of my favorite books ever. The sequel comes out really soon, I think in like two weeks, but I'm still excited that I get to like read it just a little bit early. If you don't know, The Guinevere Deception is an Arthurian retelling of sorts. The whole guy got the sword out of the stone Arthur Camelot thing. I personally went into this not really familiar with the different legends that are out there. I know there's not like one text it's just a bunch of different stories that have been created throughout time but this is one of those and it follows this girl who is being sent to camelot posing as this princess from a southern kingdom named guinevere and she has been sent by the wizard merlin to go to camelot marry the king arthur and secretly sort of protect him using this small bits of magic that she knows because magic as a whole has been banished from Camelot including Merlin himself and it's just great. I love the characters so much. Guinevere is one of my new favorite heroines ever. Book one definitely has a bit of a slow build but once the reveals start happening they keep coming but there's still so much mystery going into book two. Guinevere has so many holes in her memory and I just want to know all of them. I know this book isn't going to answer all of the questions because it's a trilogy. But yeah, I'm 40% in and I'm loving it. I just, I just love Guinevere so much. She's that kind of strong character that isn't aggressively presented by the author as like strong female character, blah, 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 blah. She has a very soft strength to her. She's willing to do whatever she has to do to protect Camelot and protect Arthur. But she's also very kind and wants to move about the world in a way way that is caring and thoughtful and just she's just <laughs> you know that like cinnamon roll meme if we applied that to Guinevere she would be the cinnamon roll that is actually a cinnamon roll but can also kill you like I just love her and I love this book. I love the writing. I have multiple ships for Guinevere, which really doesn't happen for me often, as y'all probably have picked up on. And it's just so good. If you haven't read book one, I highly obviously recommend it, especially since you'll be able to dive into book two quite quickly. So yeah, that is my plan for this weekend. It's Friday, tomorrow's Halloween, but like there's nothing to do. <laughs> Hopefully I will finish this book this weekend. I'm like half wanting to just consume all of it and half wanting to take my time because I will have to wait a whole ass year for the finale. But I'm very excited to be reading this. It was definitely one of my most anticipated books of the year. And I'm just glad that it's great so far and I'm nervous about where it's going. Okay, I got a little bit of work to do before I can start reading. So I'm gonna go do that. You're so cute in your pumpkin. You guys, Bonnie did my makeup. I don't think there's gonna be volume on this, but okay. <laughs> Oh, 
I'm gonna talk more about it tomorrow, but I just finished the Camelot betrayal. It was so good. <laughs> it was so good. I don't want to wait a year. I don't want this series to end. So last night, like I said, I finished the Camelot betrayal. It was so good. Just like the Guinevere deception, it's kind of a slow build in the beginning, but then like the end, the action starts hitting and it just does not stop. I also don't care that it's more of a slow build because I love the character so much. I just love Guinevere as a main character so much. I want to give her a hug. She's going through so much, trying to figure things out. The second book basically picks up right where book one ended and we're dealing with all of the blowout from the things that happened. Talking about sequels is hard, but I loved it, like I said. So I would 100% recommend this series. I feel like booktube kind of pays her dust and I will personally take on the mission to fix that. So read the Guinevere Deception, read the Camelot Betrayal. It comes out November 7th, I think, November 7th. So to end off this vlog though, I have a fun unboxing because something arrived today. Ooh hoo hoo. It's funny that I went from like never having subscription boxes to now basically trying out the big three because this is fairy loot this is their collector's edition box for blood and honey and yeah that's the sequel to miss serpent and dove i read her back in the summer vlog is there somewhere i didn't love it as much as book one but i still really love the series so i wanted this i got it it's here I feel like they're supposed to like where do you open these boxes? I okay wait. I've been doing very badly. Oh my god, that opened so e oh my god, I can't okay. Anyway. Those who don't believe in magic will never find it. Alright, so we got this cool little, you know, descriptor thing that we're not gonna read. Oh my god, the first thing I see is this a blanket? Ugh. You can never have too many blankets. Am I right? Shit. How do I even show this? I'll get a like shot of this later because this is too much but it says what you are now is not what you've always been nor is it what you always will be I'm you i'm not even done <laughs> you are a snake shed your skin if it no longer serves you transform into something different something better that was a lot. Now I'm asleep. Uh, it's, the design is cool, I guess. Um, I, it's soft, so I think they could have picked something better, but well, this is fine. It's fine. It's a blanket. Okay, this is in a little envelope. Ooh, it's two enamel pins, and they kind of like go together. That's pretty. Let's see. It says, love makes fools of us all, darling. And then the second one says, the world needs... What the fuck? Huh? The world needs a wit less hate and a trifle more love. Okay, I don't know what the fuck, but it looks pretty. Then we have a tarot deck, which I truly do not know what I will do with, but I will like open it at some point and in here I will show you what the cards look like. Oh my god, look at them. They're so pretty. Amazing. Gonna do tarot now and be a witch or whatever how that works. Great. Okay, then we have this and I don't know what. Ooh, what? What is this? Oh my god. What is this? Oh. It was just a lid with a lid. Okay, I, is this for tea? I feel like this is for tea. And I don't really drink tea. So, that's fun. But it says, blood is easily given. Tears, the pain that... What? I can't read any of these quotes. It says, blood is easily given. Tears, the pain that causes them are not. I don't know. I'd be crying pretty easily. So... I don't, I don't relate. But you know, it's cute, I guess. So far this box is kind of disappointing, not gonna lie. Then we have a candle, we love a good candle. This says something in French that I'm not gonna try to read. What the hell does it say? It doesn't. Wild patchouli? Distressed leather and fruits? Let's see. 
I'm the distressed leather. I don't know if I like that. I don't know if I like that distressed leather. Can't we just have fruit? Oh, and then we got some artwork. This is, this is cute. Sure, I mean, yeah. <laughs> it's fine. Where's that bitch who did the rooftop one? Literally, like, can I get... Can I get it? Can I please get a waffle? I'm not even sure what scene this is from. You also read the book like six months ago. Editing me here to say that I just want to clarify I wasn't like calling the artwork itself bad. The artist did a very nice job. But the like scene choice itself just felt kind of random. Okay, back to the video. Okay, last thing is the actual book. Let's hope she looks great there's a little what the hell is this oh a bonus chapter exclusive to fairy lou okay i hope there's smut and then oh my god oh it's the same cover but it has blackity edges oh and it has a little like sign tip in that's fun and it, oh okay here we go oh i remember this scene oh see now this is some artwork this is very cool if you've read the book i think you will know what scene this is it's pretty obvious here. That is not how I pictured her looking. I will say that. Is the spine still? Okay, I think the spine is still normal, which means it will match my other copy, the first book that is not the fairy loot edition. Okay, that was all for this unboxing. Not gonna lie, I'm a little disappointed. I think it could have been better, but we're here. We we already made the purchase. There's no going back. At least the book is nice. Um, maybe the candle will smell good when it's burning. I don't know. The pins are cute. The blanket is soft. So yeah, that's my review. I'm a little nervous because like I finally signed up for Fairy Loot as like a normal subscriber because I've been wanting to because they always have like good books, good special editions, good shit. But now this is my first experience and I'm like, I don't know about this. But we'll see that book is coming or that box will be coming in november and december i don't know it's for their november box but i'm rambling now so i'm going to go thank you so much for watching i hope you enjoyed once again read the guinevere deception it's amazing and y'all are sleeping on it okay see you in my next video